So we have an 1899. They were produced by the company that had produced the Gladiator bicycle. Of course, this one's labeled as a uh, Liberator, which was the French distributor, uh, you know, selling these in the late 1800s. So basically, it's a Dion Bouton, the chassis and running gear. There's some other refinements because this is 1899, whereas the other ones, 1896 and 7, they made quite a few advances uh, over those four or five years. Uh, when, when an industry is new, the advances come relatively quickly because it's a developing industry. So that would be the reason, uh, of course, it's got the larger wheels, uh, 70 centimeters, which is about 28 inch. So they have that front and rear brake. Uh, one thing, just noticing now, the rear chain appears to have, uh, it's in an enclosed case that you can fill with the oil. So that might have been in an oil bath, but we'll we'll check that later. Uh, what had happened a few weeks ago when we were a film, uh, I had sat on a chair and I'd, had broken through the cane. So in the meantime, I've asked Sheldon Stowe, a neighbor from a local Cornwall, he's going to explain his ideas for how to restore the cane. Well, caning such as this from the 1890s uh, was a way in which they would weave, since the chair broke, they would weave individual strands of rattan, which is like a bamboo, five to 10 feet long individual strands through the holes. There's 110 holes around the outside of the wood frame. And you have to weave a seven step pattern um, in certain order so that you create the herringbone. If you don't mind, I'm going to take out the broken seat. So let's say this is from 1890. It lasted quite long, but over time a natural product from the Philippines, Indonesia, the rattan strands get dry and brittle. So there's no fault of Ted sitting in it that it did that after a hundred some years. But I'm gonna be weaving seven steps uh, in this frame. I make sure that the frame is solid. And since it's secured quite nicely with the refinished wood, I'm gonna be working on this by sitting on a comfortable pillow and working with my hands above and below to weave the seven steps. I will bring tools to clean the old seat out. I'll make sure the holes are clean and then I will purchase the cane. There are seven sizes and this looks like carriage fine, which is appropriate. This is almost a carriage and they have super fine also. I will then individually weave the strands in seven distinct steps. The first few are Quicker, but this is a hand uh, intense time uh, project. But working on something like this, it's enjoyable to uh, do a step at a time and then take a break. So to repair this, I will buy the materials, clean the holes, bring the materials, soak them, weave strands. And next time I come back, I'll have to dampen the materials and do another step. So the traverse patterns are the last in the outside border. So from that, I will then stain it and have a complete seat that can be used for another 100 years or so. The back is dry, so we're going to be very careful with that. I might patch a few, but not the whole thing, with some strands from the original. So I enjoy caning. It's a, a historical craft I learned many years ago when I was a teenager, and I continue doing it. Antiques are still popular for some people, but when you have an old chair, it's good to repair it the way it had been done in the uh, 1890s, 1900s. So I hope to work back here at Motorcyclopedia and have a good workspace in a nice environment to bring it back to its original.